Stable confidence motion today. That's the big story that we are getting at this hour. He will put a confidence motion in his government today. This comes a day before Arvind Kejriwal has to appear before the Rouse Avenue Court in the excise policy matter. On Monday, the Enforcement Directorate had summoned Arvind Kejriwal to appear for questioning in the same matter. Big development. He is to table a motion in the Delhi Assembly today. Essentially, this appears as though there is a sense within the Aam Aadmi Party and the government that uh, the government may not be very stable if at all the Delhi Chief Minister is arrested. And hence, a confidence motion in his government today. This comes a day before Arvind K. Jival has to appear before the Rouse Avenue Court in connection with the Delhi liquor policy scam that is being alleged. Arvind K. Jival and a confidence a motion in his government. That is uh, what is going to be happening at the assembly today. We will be going across to our reporters to get a better sense of what is expected. Remember, this comes at a time and a day before he is to be appearing before the Rouse Avenue Court, which had in fact asked him to appear in person. When the enforcement directorate had in fact complained to the court and spoken about the fact that he is not cooperating in the investigations, the Rouse Avenue Court had asked the Delhi Chief Minister to appear before it in the excise policy matter. Arvind K. Jival to put confidence motion in his government today. Amit Bhatwaj getting asked more details on that. Amit, explain this to us. Why tabling, why is the need there now to table a motion, a confidence motion in the Delhi Assembly? Uh, well, Sneha, you know, the uh, uh, timing of this confidence motion being uh, uh, brought by the Amadri Party government in the Assembly in the National Capital is uh, quite interesting. Uh, remember, you know, a couple of days back, it was Amadri Party which had uh, claimed that uh, the BJP is uh, trying to coach its MLAs and uh, that at least seven MLAs had uh, uh, been approached by certain BJP leaders and they were offered money. And uh, uh, Arvind Kejwal himself had claimed that nearly two, uh, they, there's a conspiracy uh, to break 22 MLAs from Amadi Party and an attempt to topple the government. So after that allegation, uh, what we are going to see that uh, the first assembly session which is happening after that particular allegation was put forward by uh, Arvind Kejriwal, uh, Delhi ministers, uh, this time around, uh, a trust vote is being brought during the budget session itself. And uh, uh, in some time from now, the trust vote will be brought in the assembly by Arvind Kejriwal government. And uh, the, the timing is also curious because, as you were also mentioning, Sneha, uh, that this happens to be a day before the Rao Zivni court hearing. Arvind Kejriwal is expected, uh, uh, the enforcement directorate has asked uh, a number of times uh, uh, you know, for, for five, six uh, rather summons have been issued to Arvind Kejriwal. He has tipped five of them. Sixth one is uh, believed to be on 19th of February. And tomorrow he's supposed to be appearing before the Rao Zivni court uh, because the enforcement directorate had uh, reached, uh, you know, uh, uh, approached the Rao Zivni court saying that Arvind Kejriwal is in violation of the law and he is not appearing before the agency, central agency, not cooperating with the central agency. Uh, so, interestingly, uh, number one, uh, uh, trust vote being brought uh, after the allegation that was put forward by Amadi Party government that there is an poaching attempt uh, be, uh, being made by the BJP. And also before it would also send a confidence uh, uh, amongst the MLAs and amongst the people that the government in the national capital is stable right. even if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested. Back to you. Be with us. I mean, it's a big development. Harish Kurana of the Bharatiya Janata Party is also with us. Arvind Kejriwal is moving a confidence motion in spite of the fact, Mr. Kurana, that he does have majority in the assembly. Tomorrow is his appearance before the court. What are your comments? My point is, Arvind Kejriwal is using the temple of democracy, Vidhan Sabha, for his political tool. Nobody, nobody from the BJP has asked a confidence motion for, for, for bringing on a confidence motion. He has 62 member majority in the, in the Vidhan Sabha out of 20. He wants to diversify the issue from the corruption because tomorrow he's going to be in front of uh, in front of uh, uh, court. He has to present in front of court. So just to diversify the issue of the from the corruption, he wants he is bringing on this this, this issue. He want, don't want to discuss the uh, development issues. He don't want to do the corruption issues. In spite of that, he wants just uh, using a political tool as a Vidhan Sabha. But there is no harm. Otherwise, if he wants to bring in 
uh, the the confidence motion says uh, the chief minister i mean uh, did you think there is a sense that there could be a possible arrest because he's been saying this that the agencies are going to be used against me they will be arresting me before the lok sabha elections see he himself knows he's a mastermind of the of, of the liquor liquor scam he knows it what the internal is going, going to happen i mean court uh, uh, supreme court has clearly said that the crore rupees money trail has been found he has to give a lot of answers to a lot of questions you know but he want to diversify the issue today we want to discuss corruption issue uh vidhan sabha want to discuss mpa want to discuss bjp mpa want to discuss the corruption issue but he want to diversify the issue and and bring on the confidence motion which nobody has asked point is has anybody asked has, has any bjp mpa asked that we, we have we have a doubt left wing governor has asked nobody has asked but just to uh, uh, diversify the tactics he want he is bringing this Okay, I'm going to thank you for the moment, Harish Kurana Dev, the Bharatiya Janata Party. Amit continues to be with us on that story. So, what is the need of this? Says the Bharatiya Janata Party. These allegations that we are trying to, in fact, uh, break this government is all of this is uh, is is not uh, is not true. Is what the BJP now says, Amit. Uh, that's right. Uh, you know, the BJP would continue to say that you know uh, the opposition party has not demanded for. a trust vote because usually what happens is that it is the opposition party uh, which says that the government has lost uh, trust in the house it does not have the number and hence does not has the moral uh, a ground to stay in power but in this particular case aam aadmi party has a brute majority in the delhi assembly uh, you know as the harish purana was also mentioning that aam aadmi party has 62 mlas uh, with them and there's no need to bring this uh, Just vote, but also remember that this is not the first time that our Aadmi Party government in the national capital is bringing such a trust True. vote. Even in the past, uh, they had made similar claims, and trust vote was brought in the house. So it is also a political messaging that is happening from the assembly. Back to you. All right, Amit. Thanking you for the moment. Remember, this comes at a time when Arvind Kejriwal has spoken time and again about the fact that his MLAs are, in fact, attempts are being made by the Bharatiya Janata Party to poach his MLAs. and this comes a day before he is to appear before the rouse avenue court with that it's time for a quick commercial